as a Christian, is it better for a brother and a sister that want to get married to to know themselves for a long time in order to know more about that man? And the man also will be closer to that sister before they get married. Because this has brought a lot of problem in the body of Christ today. There are many born-again children of God. They are suffering so much in their marriage. And they, sometimes they begin to ask questions. Why am I in this condition? I am a child of God. I fear the Lord. I obey the laws of God. I keep the word of God. Why am I in this condition? Because they have ended up being in trouble they are in trouble in their marriage. So we are going to look at this important message today. Remember that it is not the will of God that any of his children should, should suffer. And I see these days that Christians, they suffer most in marriage. Especially born again. Born again children of God, they suffer mostly. They suffer most in marriage. Sometimes, People we call sinners, they are the ones that enjoy marriage more than born again. Sometimes people we tag unbelievers, they are the ones that enjoy peace in their marriage. They enjoy peace in their home. Why that the born again children of God, they are managing. They never enjoy peace in their marriage. They are managing. If it is a woman, the woman will be managing the man. If it is a man, the man will be managing the woman. Just in the name of God, don't want divorce. Because of this, they begin to endure many things unbearable and terrible most of the time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as you are watching this message. And the click follow button if you are watching me from Facebook. So that you will be receiving all my updates. Don't forget to comment and share this message to many people. Let's join hands together to save life. This message I am going to explain today, I am a man of God, a senior pastor at God Everlasting Covenant Assembly, located in Lagos State. I am not just saying it based on just a social media platform, because some people that will come and counter this word, please, before you begin to drop a, a cursing word or different opinion of yours, Make sure you watch this video very well before you comment. And in order to make you to understand that I know what I'm saying in this video, I have married by the grace of God for 11 years with children. So I am not just a new person in that office called marriage. I discovered that many churches deny people access to know themselves before they get married. In the name of born again, in the name of holiness, in the name of righteousness, they deny a brother access to know the sister he wants to get married to. They deny the lady the access from knowing the man that wants to marry her very well before she said yes. Just because a brother is coming to church does not make that brother a born again. And even though that, that brother claims to be a born again, remember that marriage is not a born again. I have come and counter many Christians, many called believers, many born again children of God. They are the ones that suffer most in marriage. And it's like these days, Satan used marriage as a weapon against every child of God. If you are a brother watching this message, you are a lady watching this message and you have not married, make sure you did not make mistake in marriage. Make sure you did not make mistake in marriage. Many churches are victim of this. They say the man don't supposed to go closer to that sister. The, the lady don't supposed to go closer to that man. Only in the church they will be seeing themselves. And remember that everybody is a saint in the church. Everybody is Angel Michael in the church. Everybody is Angel Gabriel. Everybody is Holy Mary, mother of Jesus in the church. So now when we come to church, everybody dress well. But I want to tell you, there are many characters in the life of a man you will never know in the church. It is when you go closer to him or her. To my own opinion, I say that it is very important that you marry somebody you know. 
It is very important. You do not just marry sister in Christ. Just marry your friend. It's better you marry your friend more than marry sister in Christ or brother in Christ you don't know about. In the name of church, in the name of, of, of holiness, in the name of righteousness. Because when you marry that person that is your, your friend, you understand her, you understand him, you know what he or she likes and what he or she don't like. You can be able to, to, to change that individual. You can be able to, be, to live peaceful and live happily with that individual. More than marry somebody that you just see in the church. Just you met the person in the church. Only in the church you know him or her. You decided to marry her. There was a story of a lady who gets married to a man, brother in Christ. Married as his time in Christ in the church. They just know themselves. I am not backing fornication before getting married but i am talking about courtship here understanding the person you want to marry so this brother came to church and see that sister in the church as a sister in christ being brother in christ he was he decided to marry that sister and the brother said oh there is no need of trying to know her they never understand themselves very well the brother ended up marrying that sister and then after wedding night, they went to bed. The brother said to sister, oh, I want to feel like a man with you. They just stayed together as husband and wife. The woman refused and said, oh, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired after the wedding, after everything, running up and down, doing this and that. I am tired the next time. The brother enjoyed it for that night, that wedding night. The next night, the brother asked for sex. The sister said she was tired also. Two weeks that woman was still giving an excuse that she was tired. Ah, ah. And one month, she was still giving an excuse, trying to postpone it, trying to postpone it. And the brother one day got angry. He decided to tear her clothes into pieces. He decided to make her his wife in order to force himself through. And the lo and behold, not knowing there is a problem in her genital organ. I don't know the kind of problem that sister had that led, led her to that condition. I don't know. But this brother now look, it was not manageable at all. There is nothing, nothing there. And the sister could not be able to tell him and say, oh, this is my problem. Oh, this is the problem I am facing. This and that is my problem. This brother now, as a child of God, who have married legally, who is now born again, and the, the Bible said that, it, the, the, that God had divorce. So, this brother man is in a cross junction. If you are that brother, what will you do? Drop your comment, what will you do? And I, this brother began to lament. The brother said, oh, had I known. Oh, had I, had I known if I have spent time with you, if I have tried to discuss with you, ask many questions, I wouldn't have married you. There are many homes like that. Many marriages today, no peace in that marriage, simply because the pastor of the church was the one that introduced the lady to her brother, to that man. Or the pastor in the church was the one that introduced the brother to a lady in the church. And the lady just married that man, or the man just married that lady, in the name of my pastor, said, there are many marriages today, no peace in that marriage because they just receive prophecy, they marry through prophecy. Hear me, don't marry through prophecy, don't marry through prophecy, don't marry through prophecy. Sometimes I hear some people, they say, oh, uh, 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 among these people, who will I marry? They pray for me, I want to marry this, I want to marry that. Sometimes they say, oh, there is somebody called Keshuku, there is somebody called Bimbo, the, the Lord say he or she is your life partner. I am not saying that the Lord cannot select wife for you. But I remember in the Bible, the Lord selected the wife for Adam. And Adam blamed God for doing so. And the Bible now says in the book of Psalm, the Lord says, Whosoever that findeth wife, findeth a good thing. Psalm 127. Whosoever that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. And obtaineth favor from the Lord. So now, these days, you are the one to look for that person you know. 
That person you trust, that person you know. For instance, you like a slim man, you like fat man, you like a, a, a lady that is fat or a lady that is slim, a lady that is tall or short, a lady that is average in height, a lady that is dark in complexion or fair in complexion. Don't do because of religion and go and marry another thing contrary for what you desire because you will not enjoy that marriage. For instance, you cherish a fat woman. Don't go and marry a slim lady. If you cherish a tall man whose man black in complexion, don't try to go and marry a yellow person. You cherish dark complexion. Because if you did not put all these things into consideration, you will find out that ignorance. Many Christians today, they are into trouble in marriage. There are marriage crises in the church. Every day, marriage, every day, problem. Husband and wife settling, every day, husband and wife settling. And in order to avoid this, don't try to go and use religion as a major rule to marry. Make sure you marry your friend. Make sure you marry somebody you know. Make sure you marry somebody you know very well. Don't marry anybody because your pastor said. Don't marry anybody because your mother told you. Don't marry anybody because this, this sister tie her tie and they cover her ear very well. Remember, when she gets home, she will remove that hair tie. Don't marry any brother or any man just because that person is just carrying big Bible or dressing well and looking neat. Don't make that mistake many born again have made. Don't make that mistake. Please, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. Don't forget, it's the same name, Anthony Ministry TV. And also, comment your opinion on this matter. Share this message to many people. Let people hear this message and the Lord will bless you as you do so. May the peace of God and the God of peace be with you. See you next time. And bye for now.